Chapter 3 by your behaviors. Chapter Overview Consumer Purchase Process Consumer Buying Environment Recent Trends in Consumer Behavior Role, Roles in Buying Centers B2B Purchasing Process Dual Channel Marketing Chapter Objectives What are the steps and issues associated with the consumer buying decision-making process? How does marketing communications play a role in developing each step of the process? How do attitudes and values influence buyer behaviors? What are the roles people other than the purchaser or consumer can play in the decision-making process? How do social influences impact the decision-making process? How do business and consumer buying decisions differ and how are they the same? How can marketers communicate and sell to both consumer and business markets at the same time? What are the important emerging trends in buying behavior? Purchasing decision-making process usually involves five, to step, five steps depending on the decision to be made. First, need recognition. Second, information search. Third, evaluation of alternatives. Fourth, purchase decision. And fifth, past purchase decision. Information search. Internal search, external search. External search. Ability to search. Motivation. Level of involvement, need for cognition, shopping enthusiasm, perceived cost versus benefit, knowledge of the product. Buyer attitude. Made up of three components, affective, cognitive, and cognitive. Attitude sequence. Three common ways attitudes are formed are cognitive, affective, cognitive. Affective, cognitive, and cognitive. Cognitive, cognitive, and affective. Buyer values. Implicit in our attitudes are our values. Values are strongly held beliefs about various topics or concepts. Values frame, frame attitudes and lead to the judgments that guide behavior. Even though values are formed during childhood, childhood they can change as one ages and collects life experiences. Personal values. Comfortable life, equality, excitement, Freedom, fun, exciting life, happiness, inner peace, mature love, personal accomplishment, pleasure, salvation, security, self-fulfillment, self-respect, sense of belonging, social acceptance, wisdom. Roles within the consumer buying process. Users, buyers, influencers, deciders, gatekeepers. These roles are often are often interdependent and sometimes one individual may have several different roles. Discussion slide. Consumers roles in the buying process. Consider your own family. What roles do certain members occupy? Are roles dependent upon what is being purchased? Information search in business decision making processes. Organizational Influencing, company goals and operating environment, organizational finances, market position, human resources, location or organization, individual factors. Individual influences that affect the buying center. Personality features, roles and perceived roles, motivational levels, levels of power, attitudes toward risk, levels of cognitive involvement. Methods of evaluating alternatives. Evolved set method. Multi attribute approach. Affect referral. The evolved set method. Evolved set. A set of brands a consumer considers during the information and evaluation process. Inept set. Brands that are not considered because they elicit negative feelings. Inert set, 
brands that the consumer is aware of but has neither negative nor positive feelings about. Discussions led. List two products, brands or services that you would consider to be in your evolved set. Why is this so? List two products, brands or services that you would consider to be in your inert set. Why is this so? Multi-attribute approach. The multi-attribute model suggests that a consumer's ultimate attitude toward a brand is determined by the brand's performance on product or brand attributes, the importance of each attribute to the consumer. Marketing communications has the potential to greatly impact how this model formulates consumer attitudes. Compensatory heuristics. No one single brand scores high on every attribute and that individual attributes will vary in importance for different consumers. Conjunctive heuristics. Many consumers will only consider certain brands that meet a minimum criteria. Effect referral. A concept that suggests consumers choose brands they like the best or ones with which they have developed emotional connections. Mm -hmm. Example may include product categories that are frequently purchased like toothpaste, ketchup and beverages, like soft drinks, juice and alcohol. Organizations like MEC do a good job of creating emotional bonds with their customers. Mm -hmm. Other examples of strong customer ties may include Nike, Apple and Harley Davidson. Discussion is light. List organizations that you would consider to have a strong emotional bond to. How were these bonds formed? Do these organizations understand you as a customer? Explain and discuss your responses with fellow students. The purchase decision. The purchase decisions by both consumers and business can be affected by many things, including but not limited to demographics, age, gender, income, heredity and home environment, family life cycle, life-changing events, cultural environment, social environment and reference group, situational environment. Dual channel marketing. Consumer and B2B markets, spin-off market, image concerns, dual strategy, Different communication messages create different brands, use multiple or different channels. Single strategy. Integrate communication message. Sell same brand in both markets. Scan both markets for dual opportunities. Trends and factors in the consumer buying environment. Age complexity, gender complexity, individualism, health emphasis, active busy lifestyles. Cocooning, change in family unit, pleasure pursuits, the environment. Responding to new consumer trends. Monitor consumer environment for change. Create goods and services that are compatible with the changes. Design marketing messages that reflect the changes. International implications. The messages included in marketing communications often vary widely across cultural Divides. divides. Cultural assimilators are often used to assist with transitions between different countries. Understand purchasing process in different countries is critical. Gender is also an important aspect of marketing communications that must be considered when crossing cultural boundaries. Strong brands are often important.